Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well today. In this video, I'll show you how to install a custom theme on your Nintendo Switch that's already running custom firmware. With a custom theme, you can personalize the look of your Switch's home menu to match your style. I'll guide you step by step, making the process easy to follow. At the end of the video, I'll also cover troubleshooting for those who experience issues with custom themes. So, make sure to watch until the end to get everything set up correctly. Let's get started. Okay, as I mentioned at the beginning, custom themes can only be used on a modded Switch or one running custom firmware. Here, you can see my Switch, which I always use to create tutorials on this channel. My Switch is still using the default stock theme, and you can also see that several games have already been installed. Right now, the Switch is running on Emunand with custom firmware, version 19.0.1, and Atmosphere version 1.8. This is the latest version at the time this video was made. If you're still using an older custom firmware version and want to update to the latest one, you can check out the tutorial on this channel. I've already made a video about it, and the link is in the description. To install a custom theme, we need a homebrew application called NX Themes Installer. If your Switch doesn't have this app yet, you can download it from the HB App Store. First, open the album to access the homebrew menu. For some custom firmware, you need to hold the R1 button before selecting the album to bring up the homebrew menu. As you can see, NX Themes Installer is not yet installed on my Switch, so let's open the HB App Store to download and install it. Before proceeding, make sure your Switch is connected to the internet. Once the App Store is open, go to the search menu and type NX Theme. Press Y to close the keyboard, then select the NX Themes Installer icon. Next, Press A to download and install the app. Once the installation is complete, exit the HB App Store by pressing the minus button. Now, you can see that the NX Themes Installer icon has been added to the menu. The download and installation process is now complete, and we're ready to move on to the next step. In this step, we will download the theme we want to use on the Switch, so make sure your device is still connected to the internet. To download themes, we need to run NX Themes Installer in non-applet mode. Right now, homebrew applications are running in applet mode, as you can see on the screen. If we launch NX Themes Installer in applet mode and try to access the Download Themes menu, we will get a message saying, this feature is not available while running in applet mode. So, we need to run it in non-applet mode. To do this, exit the application first, then press the Home button to return to the home screen. To launch Homebrew applications in non-applet mode, first highlight any game on your home screen, then press and hold the R1 button. While still holding R1, launch the game and select any user if prompted. Keep holding R1 until the Homebrew menu appears again, this time without the applet mode text at the top. If the game launches normally instead, it means the process failed, and you'll need to try again. Now that we have successfully entered non-applet mode, let's go ahead and launch NX Themes Installer. This is the NX Themes Installer menu. Next, select Download Themes, then choose Input Text. Here, we will enter the theme code for the theme we want to download. To find the code, we need to visit the website themeser.net. For this step, let's switch to the computer. You can also open the website on your phone's browser. Now, I'm on themeser.net. There are several menus here, but the two we need to focus on are Packs and Themes. Let me briefly explain these options. First, the Themes menu allows you to download individual theme components, such as only the Home menu, or a combination of different parts like the lock screen, all apps, settings, and more. Meanwhile, the Packs menu lets you download a full theme set at once, including the Home menu, lock screen, all apps, settings, and everything else. In this tutorial, I'll be downloading a theme in pack format, but you can choose based on your preference. Now, select the theme you want to download. For example, I'll choose this theme. The page will refresh, showing a detailed preview of the theme. You can use the arrow buttons to view each section of the theme, from the home menu, lock screen, all apps, settings, and more. You can also check the preview thumbnails below. If you like the theme and want to download it, 
Take note of the theme code displayed on this page. This is the code we will enter in the NX Themes Installer app on the Switch. If you want to download another theme, go back to the Packs menu, choose a different theme, and note its code as well. Once we have the codes, let's return to the Switch. Enter the theme code into the input text field and select Search. This will display the theme components available for download. Make sure all sections are checked, or if you only want specific parts, you can uncheck the ones you don't need. In this case, I'll download everything. Next, click the Download button to start the download process and wait until it completes. Once done, click OK. Now, let's enter the next theme code. First, delete the previous code, enter the new one, and click Search. Then, proceed with the download. Once finished, click OK. Now we have successfully downloaded two themes. To install the downloaded themes, go to the Themes menu at the top. By default, the last downloaded theme pack will be displayed first. To view the other theme we downloaded earlier, move the cursor to the right and press B to go back. Here you can see the theme pack folders. Since we downloaded two theme packs, both are listed here. Choose the theme pack you want to install. For example, I'll select this one. Now, check the boxes for the parts of the theme you want to install, whether it's just the home screen, the lock screen, or all of them. If you want to install only one section, simply select it by pressing A. If you want to install multiple sections or the entire theme, press Y for multi-select, then use A to select additional parts. In this case, I'll select everything. You can also see the button instructions at the bottom of the screen for reference. Once the selection is complete, press the plus button to install all the selected theme components. Now, let's wait for the installation process to finish. Once the installation is complete, we need to reboot the switch. To do this, select the Reboot menu. Now that the switch has finished rebooting, we can see that the theme has been successfully applied. Let's check the lock screen first, then the home screen, and finally the settings menu, which has also changed accordingly. Now, let's apply the second theme we downloaded earlier. The process is the same, so we need to open NX Themes Installer. Just a quick note, when switching to a theme that has already been downloaded, you don't need to enter non-applet mode. You can simply launch the Homebrew application as usual. Once it opens, go straight to the Themes menu to select the downloaded theme. Now, I'll choose the second theme, which is called Vertical Blue Lava Lamp. I'll select all parts to install. Finally, we need to reboot the switch again for the theme to be applied. Okay, as you can see, the switch theme has now changed successfully. The theme installation is now complete. Next, let's move on to the troubleshooting section. In some cases, after installing a theme and rebooting, the switch may experience a soft brick where the screen gets stuck on an error like this. Even if you try rebooting again, the error will persist, preventing you from using your switch. If this happens, don't worry. The solution is very simple. First, turn off the switch. Then, remove the SD card and connect it to your computer. Open Windows Explorer and navigate to the switch's SD card. Next, go to the Atmosphere folder. Then open the Contents folder. Here, look for the folder with the following name. Inside, you will find three items like this. Now, delete the RoMFs folder. Once that's done, safely eject the SD card from your computer and insert it back into the switch. Power on the switch, and it should boot normally again with the default switch theme.
That's it for this tutorial on installing custom themes on your Switch with CFW. I hope this guide was helpful, and you were able to install and switch themes without any issues. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.